Ford Maverick seems to be the standard right now when it comes to compact pickup trucks in the US. But there's a problem. The Maverick is sold out and customers are looking for alternatives. Luckily, other manufacturers have been paying attention to Ford's success. One of them is Isuzu, who has a compact truck called the Isuzu D-Max. Join us today as we explore why the Isuzu D-Max is better than the Ford Maverick. Before we get into the details, it's important to know that Isuzu has a long history of selling compact trucks in the US. The I-Series and PUP trucks from the 1980s and 1990s should be remembered by many of us as common, affordable, well-built runabouts that seem to run forever. And that's exactly what people are still looking for right now. The current market seems to be clamoring for trucks, but for smaller vehicles that can perform 90% of the tasks carried out by a full-size truck, while being easier to park and more fuel efficient. That's where Isuzu's always fit. Isuzu has once again unleashed its full arsenal with the new D-Max, offering no fewer than 24 single, extended, and double cab variations. Isuzu has made steps to keep the basic product strengths of robustness and reliability, but is also well aware that the D-Max has begun to fall behind the market leaders in some areas notably when it comes to the leisure luxury side of double cab driving. As such, the major focus areas for the new D-Max were its cabin design, fit and finish, onboard tech, safety and refinement. The all new Isuzu D-Max gets a sharper look when compared with its predecessor. The main improvement is a redesigned double fang grille, which has a variety of finishes depending on the spec you choose. The top spec V-Cross has a gunmetal gray finish with a lower skid plate, wing mirrors, door handles, and 18-inch alloy wheels all finished in the same color. Mid-spec variants have silver or chrome treatments, while utility models have black plastic. Additionally, this high-end model has LED headlights and smart-looking U-shaped running lights. Under the skin, the D-Max retains a traditional body-on-frame layout, but Isuzu has made the latter chassis lighter and 23% stiffer than that of the outgoing model. The truck has a leaf spring layout at the back and double wishbone front suspension, both of which are designed to handle big payloads. The Isuzu should be able to handle almost any road conditions put in front of it thanks to high and low range four-wheel drive, as well as a standard rear differential lock. Switchable four-wheel drive allows you to choose just rear-wheel drive to save fuel. Inside, the D-Max has been given a thorough overhaul with an upmarket look. The most expensive V-Cross features a high 9-inch touchscreen, a row of toggle switches for dual-zone climate control, and a rotary selection for the four-wheel drive system. The most expensive model also comes fitted with leather seats. The new Isuzu is built to last, and several car reviewers have reported that the build of the truck is sturdy. The vehicle also comes with a long list of amenities like an 8-speaker stereo, heated seats, an electric driver's seat adjustment, front and rear parking sensors, a rear camera, and a broad selection of safety and driving assistance features. With the previous generation D-Max, Isuzu debuted a brand new 1.9-liter diesel which has been carried over to the new model with a few modifications. It's rated at 190 horsepower, which is close enough to the Ford Maverick's 191 horsepower. The Isuzu also makes its maximum power at 3600 RPM, which is pretty high revving for a diesel. The power deficit combined with a slower shifting auto gearbox means the D-Max is behind in the sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour, with a quoted figure of 13 seconds compared to the Ford Maverick's impressive 7 seconds. However, these aren't sporty trucks, and the Isuzu typically offers respectable daily performance. While the six-speed transition isn't quite as quick to react as Ford's optional Turbo 4 unit, it shifts smoothly, especially when kicking down a ratio or two. It is best to let the automatic gearbox do its own thing. One neat trick that the D-Max has is the ability to quickly shift from two to four-wheel drive on the move. Since the four-wheel drive setup engages quickly thanks to an upgraded on-the-fly shift system, the truck is immediately prepared for tougher terrain. The D-Max also comes with a rear differential lock, which only activates in low range mode at speeds under 5 miles per hour, yet enables it to handle challenging off-road terrain with ease. The Maverick excels in this area as well, but the Isuzu seems to have a tiny advantage. 
The Maverick offers 1,500 pounds of payload capacity and 2,000 pounds of towing capacity, while the D-Max offers a payload capacity of 1,320 kilograms in the single cab chassis SX and will tow a 3,500 kilogram braked trailer. Apart from its amazing towing capacity, the D-Max adds a slightly more versatile interior to the mix. For starters, there are two glove boxes, as well as covered storage above the dashboard and pop-out cup holders on either side of the dashboard. The center console has an additional cup holder, bringing the total to 10, as well as a cubby for the center armrest. In the back, there's good room for passengers and they also get a USB socket and air vents. The compact truck sector is picking up and manufacturers are already trying to take advantage of the demand. Ram is releasing a new mid-sized Dakota, Honda introduced the Ridgeline, and the Maverick hit the market last year. These are the ideal size for folks that need to tow a few thousand pounds, do a few dump runs, and travel off-road. These other trucks are great in their own way, but the Isuzu D-Max gives them a run for their money. The D-Max is a two- or four-door truck that is six inches narrower and five inches shorter than the brand new Ranger. The 3.0-liter V6 or diesel engine options for the D-Max have earned it top safety ratings in Europe and Southeast Asia. And as a work truck, it's well-liked across the pond. The D-Max also comes in a Raptor-like off-road version, the Arctic D35. Isuzu used to sell light trucks in the US from 1972 to 2004. The Chevrolet LUV truck was an Isuzu truck that had been rebadged. It was known as the Faster in the rest of the world. The Pup truck, which was also sold in the 1980s and 90s, is a model that most people remember, and Pup was simply short for pickup. The second generation S10, which was sold from 1980 to 1988, was then offered for a brief period of time as the Isuzu Ombre. The Isuzu Ombre was only a rebadged Chevrolet S10 or GMC Sonoma that was sold in this country from 1994 to 2004. The Ombre did have a small, unique hood, but aside from that, it made no effort to set itself apart from GM trucks. Later, Isuzu referred to its version of the S10 as the i-Series. It was launched in 2006 and had a unique grille and side molding. However, Isuzu stopped producing the i-Series in the US in 2006 after only selling 1,377 vehicles, which makes the i-Series a rare truck in the US. Even while it continued everywhere, it was largely scanty in the US. The rollover scandal at the time caused the company some PR issues as well. It's easy to daydream about the trucks that could be present in the US today when you take a look at all the trucks that the rest of the world has access to. The D-Max, however, seems to satisfy a need for a vehicle that's a little bit smaller than the Ranger, but has more capability than a Maverick, and it would look cool. So, what do you think about the Isuzu D-Max? Let us know in the comment section. We'd truly appreciate it if you'd leave a like and consider subscribing so you're always in the loop for the latest EV, Ford, Toyota, and tech news.